So, OP had a boyfriend. This boyfriend had a girl. It was a friend. This whole time, OP was worried about the girl, but her boyfriend was saying, Don't worry, OP. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. I just went through a breakup, and my ex is now with his best friend. I'd always had reservations with her friendship. She was always overly flirty with him and would, quote, stake her claim on him through passive-aggressive comments. I brought it up once in a cool-like manner, and he just said, quote, oh, that's how she is with everyone. I let it slide for about a year because I didn't want to come off as insecure. Most men don't pick up on how women can be passive-aggressive towards each other, so I figured I'd take the high road and just ignore her. He also never gave me a reason to even think that or thought of her like that. However, she threw him a surprise birthday party a week before his actual birthday and did not tell me nor invite me. He was confused as to why I wasn't there and she told him that I did not like his friends and refused to attend. He called me while he was there and drunkenly expressed how sad he was about my behavior. I could hear his BF in the background, basically crackling up and yelling at him to not give me any more attention and that I was just a horrible girlfriend. The next day, I tried calling him, but it went straight to voicemail. My text went straight to Green also, so I was sure he blocked me. Luckily, I'm close friends with his sister, who, coincidentally, was also not invited to the surprise party. The best friend doesn't like his sister. His sister told my boyfriend everything from my point, but his best friend swears she invited me and sent me and his sister the paperless post, and it must have just been an accident slash mishap. After that day, he started acting really distant towards me. I asked him if anything was going on with his best friend. He said no, and he loved me and understood that the whole party thing was an accident. I tried to remain calm and told him that I don't like the idea of his friends thinking I dislike them and even said, maybe I should reach out to her and we could go grab some coffee. Oh, he was all about it, but she never texted me back. I made sure not to say anything negative about his best friend and ultimately told him, I agree, it must have been an accident, which I did not think at all. Two weeks later, he's still distant during that time. He sits me down and says it's over, after two years. I was calm but asked what triggered this, and asked if his best friend had anything to do with the breakup. He said, yes, she did, but he promised nothing physical happened with them while we were dating. But that had developed feelings. He said that it, quote, just happened. They've been friends for over ten years, so why they didn't date before? He said he never thought of her romantically until a few weeks ago. Afterwards... She made it very public that she, quote, won, and that I'm nothing more than just a loser, and thank goodness for their friend group doesn't have to deal with my toxic behavior anymore. Which I don't even care about. She's lesser than me, and it's very clear by her actions. I actually bumped into a couple of his friends at the bar a few weeks after we broke up, and they mentioned how they and several of the other friends were bummed that we broke up because they thought I was fun and sweet and loved having me around. It definitely wasn't a conversation with nice pleasantries. I could tell they were genuine. I just don't understand how feelings change in such a short amount of time since they've been friends for 10 years. Well, one week after we broke up, He's dating his best friend and, quote, they're completely and utterly in love. I'm very hurt by just trying to see it from another point of view since my ex won't really explain it to me or go into detail on, quote, how all of a sudden he just fell for her. In my opinion, falling in love isn't so easy. You have to continually interact emotionally and romantically with another person to get there, which in my mind is definitely a form of cheating. He was just so nice and proper during their relationship as well as during the breakup. It was completely respectful as much as it could be. I just don't understand. How do these things happen? I have guy friends that I would never think to date or more so speak to in a romantic sense, wherein it's a possibility to fall in love. I don't know, maybe just some thoughts on this from you guys. I genuinely do think that his feelings change. 
He just wanted to explore another relationship, and that was really contemplating it for a couple weeks. Before jumping and making the decision. Not sure what the antithesis was, but it's obviously happening at this surprise party I wasn't invited to. I don't really want to hear the whole, he's an a-hole, you better off without him comments. We're broken up and done with, and I'm simply moving on. Just trying to figure out if other people have been in the same situation and how this sort of thing happens. Alright guys, Mr. Redito here, so the story's not over yet. OP actually posted an update, and it's when OP received a text from a random number. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Click that big red button underneath this video, and let's jump into the update. So, I received a text from a random number. It was my ex. I blocked his normal number. He basically outlined how he missed me and had ended things with his best friend. He asked to grab coffee and talk it out and hopefully reconcile. He said this, Ah, oh, I didn't realize how much I'd miss you, and I've realized that you're the one for me. I'm so sorry about everything that's happened in the past month. You deserve better. But I'm hoping we can meet up and discuss and move past it. Well, yeah, yeah, really. A whole three weeks, huh? I'm genuinely still curious as to why he ended a two-year relationship for this girl. I knew she was trouble. Knew it wouldn't last, but didn't think it'd be a measly three weeks. It's laughable. <laughs> I'm fuming. He's essentially asking to get back together after ducking his best friend, and now he has clarity over the situation and figured out that she's not what he wants. Oh, I still think he's one of the nicest men I've ever met and fell victim to another girl's manipulation, but duck him. He's 31 years old. Do better, bro. Oh, and just a PSA to anyone out there who was contemplating this type of thing, don't do it. My favorite type of comment is a similar situation story, so if you guys have similar stories, drop them in the comment section of Mr. Redito's comments. However, I did come across a similar situation in the original post. Here it is. I had a friend in high school that started dating this girl, and she and I became close friends. Some stuff happened, and I stopped talking to the other guy. After a year or so together, he broke up with her because he was, quote, bored of her, and she came crying to me so we could talk about it, and she hung out with me for a while. Until one day, she said, he asked for her back. I told her it could only end badly, but for some reason she took him back. Well, I was astonished. Then he told her to stop talking to me, and guess what? She did. A few years later, they had a kid, got married, and a few years after that, he thought she cheated on him, so he slept with her best friend and got her pregnant. And now they're divorced. And he married the other girl. Recently, I heard he was cheating on his second wife with the first one. It was just a ton of, but why, though? Until his parents kicked him out. Yeah, he still lived with his parents, and he and the second wife moved away. Now that I think about it, I'm glad she stopped talking to me when he asked her to because I would not be able to handle the drama firsthand. So guys, let me know what you think about that comment. That's a pretty intense similar situation. We do have another story to look at on today's video, and the title for that is this. Sister wants me to adopt her baby, who she's promised to out our abusive parents. Well... I already have twins. I don't think this is a good idea. What do I do? I have a three-month-old twin girls. I've been no contact with my parents for a decade due to them being highly abusive and kicking me out as a teenager. I'm not letting them meet my kids because of this. My sister is three months pregnant. She lives with our parents and says she intends to continue doing this as she doesn't want to raise a child. But they want a grandchild, so the idea is they would all live together. And my parents would raise the child while my sister was the only mother on paper. I called my sister to work out a way to get the baby from our parents. She said if I want to take the baby, she'll allow a legal adoption. But that's the only other option she'll consider. The bio father is not going to be involved, so he doesn't factor in here. I have the money to take in a third child... And with a bit of adjusting, I can make the room. I can extend my maternity leave to a full year. It's meant to end soon. Meaning that when the newborn arrives, I would have three months left of my leave to get settled. 
I'm a single mother, but I have strong network of friends to help, and my job has been very good with me taking leave. Oh, and my work entitles me to free childcare. Would pursuing the adoption be a good idea? What would potentially having a 9-month-old twins and a newborn at the same time look like? Would being so close in age affect the kids growing up? Sorry if this is the wrong place to ask this, but it seemed like the most logical place. Update number one. Guys, I've come to the decision. I'm adopting my sister's son. He was born eight days ago, but he's over two months premature. Closer to three. The birth was meant to be a natural one, but ended up a C-section due to complications, but the C-section was still routine with no issues. Doctor said it went as well as it could, not overall. The doctor wanted to keep my son for a bit longer, because he's just too early, and they want to be positive it's safe before I take him home. However, because I don't begin the formal adoption for a few weeks still, and with you know, the restricting visitors, this means I can't even visit him. I would post a picture here, but I don't even have a picture to show you. I've only seen him once immediately after the birth, and my sister is allowed to see him as the birth mother, but she's only been there once. I was meant to be able to take him home yesterday, but they asked to keep him longer and just run a few more tests. I'm either getting no information or incredibly limited info because despite being his mother and him coming to live with me once he's released, because, well, it's not on paper yet, and I didn't give birth to him. They're not allowed to give me the same information that my sister is getting. I'm angry, and frustrated, and tired, and anxious, while my partners are just trying to calm me down. It's not working. I just want him home safe. Let me know, though, guys. If you were in my position, would you have done the same and adopted him? Okay, so here's a comment. This was a pretty emotional story in some aspects. The comment says this, I just hope the sister has a choice in having a kid or not. Grandparents pushing for one is one thing, but the sister getting pregnant is another. What if her parents tamper with her birth control? Sister may not try for another baby, but may end up with one one way or the other. I hope the sister gets out of the parent's house ASAP and the other person's post about having the twins, it's mentioned that she thought the twins should be involved in their dad's life because children need a family. Makes me think she's brainwashed to some sort of degree. Guys, let me know. This is a really complex story. What would you do if you were in OP's position? I don't know what I would do. Drop your thoughts down below. Thank you for subscribing and watching this video today. I hope you guys have an amazing one, and I'll see you in the next one.